<laughs> Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. We are back here with another video. You're here with your boy, Justin Che, and today we have a very special guest on the channel, Nicholas Che. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, you know, thank you for coming on. <laughs> anyway, today, guys, we have a Che brother collab. My brother, as you guys know, is Justin Che. Today, we have no idea really what we're going to be talking about, but he is on campus for Princeton Preview, so we thought it would be good to sit down. I'm thinking about calling this Cactus Chats, bro. Cactus Chats? So Justin, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Um, Where are you from? Thank you for asking, Nick. Uh, so my name is Justin Che. I'm um, from Dallas, Texas. Got to rep the the D town, the 972. The 972. Gang, yeah. gang. Um, I'm currently 17 years old. About to turn 18 in a few months. What are you looking to major in, bro? Mechanical engineering. For everyone who keeps asking. Are you committed to Princeton? I have not officially committed to Princeton, although it's probably just like. Three clicks away, I could do it in like two minutes. Hey, I haven't declared my major yet. Should we do it at the same time? <laughs> I don't think it's that big a deal. It's... Today we're gonna be doing a video about how we really got into Princeton. I know this is a topic that can be beneficial for you guys and just talk about, you know, not just our scores and our extracurriculars, but more so our common application essay and, you know, go into the details of what we think personally helped us get in. Not that like legacy had anything to do with it, but um, I'm gonna just leave that there. So let's start off with the scores. Justin, what'd you get on your ACT? <laughs> We're just gonna hop, let's in just hop into it. Uh, I took the ACT two times. I got a 34.25 the first time and a 35.25 uh, the second time. What about you, Nick? What, what did you get on your ACT? I also took the ACT two times. The first time I got a 34, probably a 33.75 <laughs> rounded up. And the second time I got a 35. Um, what about your SAT, Justin? I took that two times. The first time I got a 15.10, so that was a 710 reading, writing, and 800 in math. And then the second time I took it in June, hashtag rip June SAT for those of you guys who know about that. If you know, you know. Um, I took that and I got a 1540, 770 in reading, writing, and 770 in math. I took the new SAT, I got a 1500, I only took it one time. And then <laughs> I took the old SAT, I got a 2170. What about your GPA, Justin? Uh, right now, I think I'm at a 3.98. Okay, buddy. Big baller. What's I think when I graduated, I was like a 3.94. What's your current prison <laughs> GPA, Nick? Let's not talk about that. What's your current high school rank? Uh, I ended my high school career, well, like, taking like ranks are locked or whatever, um, as 10 out of graduating class. Did you drop? Disgrace. I used to be seven, but it's Disgrace. okay. I, I don't really care. This we're, we're banning you from the family. Yeah. Um, what extracurriculars are you involved in, buddy? Um, I'm involved in student council as my high school student body president. I'm involved. Wait, say that again. Student body president. Oh, you're a student. So that means you're going to be giving like a speech at graduation, right? Actually, I just did. Oh, you just did the house. Okay, he's not that cool, guys. I'm also involved in band. I'm a squad leader, so I have about like eight to ten people, eight to ten clarinet players that I kind of show how to show them how to march, play some of their music, stuff like that. Hey, I was in band too. What about you, Nick? What, what would you oh, do? Oh, thanks for band? asking. Thank you for asking so much, brother. Um, when I was in the band, I was actually the clarinet section leader, so I was involved in, you know, not just eight to ten people, but a whole section of thirty to forty people. No. I just forgot. I was also the woodwind captain. Oh my gosh, that's uh, so crazy! Right, and the woodwind captain was also in charge of the entire woodwind sections. Mm. <laughs> Moving on. Um, what else do you do on campus, dude? Um, I well, it's not on campus, but I'm involved with the robotics team. So it's oh, me. you do robotics. Yeah. Oh cool. What kind of robotics? It's called Vex Robotics. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Um, I'm on a team with four other guys, so shout out to them. Um, so we work probably like 400 plus hours every year. I've been competing um, like really hardcore since like sophomore year. But now guys, in the big leagues. Yeah, if you guys um, know my team, it's 365X Invictus for any of you nerds out there. Okay, cool. Give, give them that plug. Give them that plug. Yeah. yeah, so Justin is also an avid Videographer, upcoming mm. vlogger. I, I wouldn't consider it. That. Okay, it's, okay, all right. It's all for right. fun. Okay, a, a humble I man. Can't, a I can't man. give myself the title yet. Okay, not yet, not yet. Um, I mean, I wonder who he gets it from though. I, I bet he has like some great inspiration. I think it's our mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, are you excited to come to Princeton, dude? Yeah. What are you looking forward to? Um, I don't know. There's like a lot of a lot of different stuff. Uh, I've met like a ton of really cool people this these past two days, and so uh, I'm looking forward to just hanging out with a lot of. Um, really driven, like-minded people. Why, why do you like Princeton? Nick? I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's 
a good school. It's got a lot of great academics. The professors are great. I feel like I'm just like reading a script every time I talk about Princeton. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, man, it kind of sucks. I'll be straight up. <laughs> I feel like I should let you know. I feel like I'm, I'm failing my duties as a brother if I don't let you know that it's hard. It's uh, gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of hours. It's going to be a lot of late nights. But overall, like the people are good. You, I'm sure you'll be able to find a good group of friends. You'll be able to find clubs and extracurriculars that you can get involved in. I need you here so I can recruit you from my studio. Yeah, I'm already his slave. I'm already making his YouTube headers and yeah. all stuff like that. So. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so what was your common application essay? I, I a funny story. I started, um, I went through like a whole bunch of different revisions and I ended up rewriting my entire common app essay, uh, I think one or two weeks before the December 31st deadline. So. Our mom was not happy. But my common app essay, um, it was actually, I did a project in eighth grade. Um, it was basically a super open-ended project. You could do anything. And so I made a pendulum clock um, out of Legos and so I talked about my experience making that clock and how my perfectionism caused me to make a worse version of the clock than um, if I had just built it you know without worrying about it being perfect or it being amazing just you know that's kind of lame yeah what I mean it got me here what are you Nick my essay was about this girl that I used to love. Um, her name was Candace. She um, was with me every single day. Great curves. Hand, great curves, hand yeah. in hand. Um, talking about my film camera, talking about my experiences with my National Geographic Student Expedition Scholarship, and how photography was really able to open just so many doors for me and just share a lot of experiences in places that I would never have been able to go to without it. Speaking of which, Justin actually got the same exact National Geographic Student Expedition Scholarship. <laughs> There's some head scratching to do here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, my my expedition with National Geographic um, took me to the Silicon Valley for nine days. And so I was there with like a group of like 30 to 40 other kids. Shout out to them. They're really cool people on that trip. And so um, basically we just toured um, Google headquarters, Stanford's campus a little. Oh, Stanford. Fuck Stanford. <laughs> then uh, before that, I was actually awarded a trip with the New York Times. Um, they have a similar program to National Geographic and so I was able to go to Peru with um, 16 other kids. We were there for about um, 14 days, I think, and so uh, we were visiting Peru. We got to see Machu Picchu and the focus was around um, public health and development in the Andes. And so um, just really cool meeting a lot of great people, learning about their work and learning about the culture there. So. Do you think that had a big impact on your application? I didn't write a lot about it. like. Don't, don't get me wrong, like this sounds kind of bad, but like it was like a really, really awesome trip, but it wasn't like like entirely life-changing for me and it wasn't enough to like, I, I didn't feel like I could write a substantial amount about it, like a 650 word like common app. For me, the reason I feel like I included my trip in my common application essay was because it was able to just, you know, relate to something that I was already passionate about, photography, and then bringing that aspect into it was just a really good way for them to see that, you know, I was passionate about it, but I also went out of my way to look for scholarships and find trips that could help foster my passion. Obviously, both of us being Asian, um, him being an engineer, me being more of a creative side, you know, that can maybe play a little bit into it. Here, here's my rant. All right, go. I freaking hate it seeing how I got into Princeton, blah, blah, blah. Like, these are the essays that got me into Princeton because, like, let's be honest, you don't actually know if that was like the deciding thing that got you into Princeton. I've used this example a lot, but let's say you, uh, okay, this is like a huge stretch, but let's say you cured cancer. Um, and obviously, like, that's like a huge thing. And then as you think like, wow, if I if I did this, then like um, all these colleges are gonna accept me. But like, and then let's say Princeton does accept you, but you don't know if it was because you cured cancer or maybe because you started a badminton team at your school and Princeton really likes badminton. I mean, no, but they take everything into account. Yeah. So it's a holistic application. Here's, here's your pedestal. Let's, let's hop down. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I think that about wraps it up for this video. Do you have anything you'd like to add? Um, I also have a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Justin also has a YouTube channel. I will have it linked down below. He's on the come up. Make sure to go subscribe. Let him know that Nick sent you guys. Subscribe for more videos. And as always, don't stress. Fitness. Wait, wait, let's do your dabs. No, I don't really I'm putting know. you on the spot, brother. I, this is a casual. Just, I, just, um, just a, you just do. Yeah. And this is the mini. The, the, the super mini. <laughs> <laughs> this is the behind the head. Behind the head dab? Yeah. Um, and then this is a rapid fire. And this is under the leg. <laughs>
Nem, 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 nem,